Today we're introducing one of our most exciting new products, the Crestron iServer. It's already won EH and CD of Best New Product Awards. Now what makes the iServer so exciting is that it is the first audio server that actually uses the iPod as its hard drive. You see, there's a real perception problem out in the marketplace. People don't understand why they have to spend thousands of dollars on a traditional dedicated audio server when they have all their music on an iPod already. Now up to this point, the solution has been these docking stations, and we have them too, the CENI dock, which is great. You can take your iPod, put it in the dock, listen to the music in the room, or if it's connected to a distributed audio system, uh, you can listen to it throughout the house. But the iPod is a personal mobile device, so the problems are still when, what happens when you go to work or school or to the gym? You take the iPod with you, and you're left without any music in the house. Also, how do you sync? How do you get your content into the iPod? You have to undock it, take it over to your home Mac or PC, and connect it to the USB port, and upload it from your iTunes library. It's not an integrated or, or, in a, or elegant solution. But the Crestron iServer addresses all of these issues. It's an integrated, elegant, seamless solution. Let's take a closer look. So what do I mean when I say that the iPod is the engine or hard drive of the iServer? Well, there's a drawer right here in the front panel. You open that up and you take any iPod and you place it in the drawer. There's a standard iPod connector. So you just plug that in, close the drawer, and lock it down. Now the iServer will go in an entertainment cabinet or a centralized rack, and now this becomes your dedicated home audio server and using the iPod as its hard drive. So we've solved one of the issues with those basic docking solutions. No one's going to walk off with this, take it to, to school or to work with them, leaving you without any audio at home. The other issue, though, was uh, with the docking solutions, you still had to take out, take the iPod over to the home computer, plug it in, and, uh, and synchronize. So how do you synchronize a centralized audio server? Well, let's take a look at the rear panel you'll notice that there's an Ethernet port. So the iServer actually connects to your home computer network. And Crestron has developed an exclusive technology where we can transmit USB over Ethernet. So, when, so what does this mean for you? When you launch your iTunes from your Mac or PC, it automatically senses the iServer. So what, all you have to do is you download new content as you normally would, it sees the iServer and automatically synchronizes. Now you'll also notice that there are audio and video connectors. So again, any content that you would normally download to iTunes and play from your iPod, including music, audiobooks, video, you can play from the Crestron iServer. Now, this doesn't replace your docking stations. We still have the CENI docks. So, while this is a dedicated home audio server, the iDock is a great solution when you just want to dock your personal iPod and listen to your music in your room or again it can be connected to a distribution system and you can listen to it throughout the house. So the kids come home from school and little Johnny or Sally just wants to drop their iPod into the iDock and listen to, to his or her music. Or their friends come over from school and they want to share content on their iPod. The, I, the CEN iDock is still a perfect solution, so they work together. One doesn't replace the other. The CEN iServer from Crestron truly is a unique, innovative solution. It's the first dedicated home audio server that really bridges the gap between the traditional expensive audio servers and basic iPod docking solutions. The CEN iServer is a cost-effective, seamless, truly integrated solution and it's only from Crestron. Contact your local Crestron representative for pricing and information.